friends welcome to the vlog so i've already been cleaning this morning y'all have been asking for another cleaning video so i figured i would just include that in today's vlog today i'm focusing on just putting stuff where it belongs i've been decluttering already this morning and i have vacuumed all the floors at least all the hard floors i have to go and do the carpets but my main objective is the hard floors because i'm going to steam mop them so if you follow me on instagram then you already know that i got a steam mop and i tried it out the first day that i got it and it blew my mind and i had to share it on instagram so um i'm obviously going to share it here and i'll give you all my review of it long story short i freaking love it but i'm gonna just let the steam mop show y'all the results itself so before we jump into all of the steam mop wonderfulness and i give y'all like my honest visual review of it let's just go ahead and get everything vacuumed like i said i have already vacuumed but you haven't seen that yet so here that is So now that the house is vacuumed, I'm gonna share a quick tip with you guys. So I like to put essential oil on my vacuum filter. And today I use purification. So while you're vacuuming, it's pumping those essential oils throughout the house. Purification is good to get rid of those stank, stank smells. There's smell in this house and I can't figure it out. I don't know where it is. Now we did take trash out and I did clean out Millie's diaper pills. So I don't know if it was that and it was lingering but I'm getting on it today. I'm figuring out whatever it is. So hopefully it's gonna be gone, but that's gonna help. Um, way better, way, way, way less harmful than Febreze and any other kind of like sprays you spray in the house. So I got my diffusers going with Purification Thieves and Lemon and doing purification in this. And I also am putting pur <laughs> So I'm also putting purification on the steam mop mat itself my other one is dirty now there is a little bit of residue of the oil on the bottle so i'm just going to take the mat and rub it off so i did already put like three drops on the inside i do have the little scent disc that come with it in it but it's almost out they don't last very long um and it probably is like perfumey I'm gonna be honest with you but i'm gonna use it because it came with it my idea was to use them until they no longer had any scent and then start putting essential oil on the discs um but i might try to get crafty and make something to put in there to put oil on i gotta figure out what kind of material i'll be able to put in there with that hot steam i'll figure it out once i figure it out i'll share it so the other mat with the zigzag that comes with my steam mop is like for more nasty floors i guess we're just going to say so i tried that one out when i tested it when i first come in it's pretty much like brown so it's in the washing machine i'm getting ready to wash that along with some bathroom mats and some little rags and towels and stuff in there so i'm going to go ahead and wash all of that and we're going to steam up the floor but first i'm going to check on millie because it's time for her to get up so she might let me steam up and chill out in her jumper while i get this done so and mama should be on her way back something's going on with mama's truck we'll fill you in with that later but i figured the first part of this vlog today would be cleaning and some of my like little cleaning tips here and there So 
So I shared this name up a few days ago on Instagram and a lot of y'all were like, please tell me you're gonna review this on your YouTube channel. Um, I guess you wanted to see it more in action because I literally just showed you the mat after I had done a little bit of the floor. So my goal is to do bathrooms in our bedroom and more like pretty much all the hard floors in the house today. So you're really gonna be able to see <laughs> what it looks like. Um, but this little, oh, this little thing right here is where you put water. Probably need to go ahead and put more water in it. Um, this is just from the other day. And I don't know if you need fresh water every time. I don't know, I just did it yesterday. Pretty sure that was yesterday. And then I'm gonna turn mine on to the highest steam level. My machine that I got has three steam levels, which is what I wanted. I'd done extensive research on steam mops before I decided on which one I was gonna get. So I will link this one down below. Um, obviously it's not cordless, which because I would assume that it wouldn't be able to get really hot if it was cordless. And if it did, it would die really quickly. So I'm fine with the cord. This one actually has a five foot longer cord than like the original machine does. So there's different ones of this one. And the only difference really is the color. This one's orange and like the five foot longer end cord. So I will link what I can find because they're getting hard to find now because they're kind of popular, but I'll link it down below and you just plug it in and let it heat up. I go ahead and let mine heat up before I start moving it on the floor, which takes about 30 seconds, which is not long at all. So my mat's already on and I already put my oil on. So let me go fill this up and then we'll get started. I don't put in oil in the water container just because it's for water and I don't want to mess up my machine. So I did put the oil on the mat because that's not going to mess up like the internal part so i don't want to put any oil in there i know some people asked about that or say that they do that but i just don't want to do that because i want to make sure that i keep the machine running as long as possible and it is made for water so i don't want to mess it up it's not very quiet i mean it's not very loud either but it's not the most quietest thing in the world it kind of sounds like an iron i wouldn't know because i don't want iron <laughs> but it does sound like an iron Yes, mamas and her are trying to empty out my Dyson. So if y'all didn't know, I have a V6 model and it is so aggravating to clean out the dirt trap. It does a good job vacuuming. That's not the issue. It's just getting all the dirt because it does such, such a good job. It's full. Yes, but it's still, it's at the very back. There's only one junk drawer. Sure. No. 
It's over under the mixer. Is that where you're at? Okay. That ain't a junk drawer. That was a utensil drawer you were at. Okay, I see you so I just finished steam mopping. Amelia's telling you how wonderful it smells in the house. Is that what you're telling them? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, where I was, well, I don't know if it was a trash or what, but I, yeah. So I'm letting the steam mop cool. And then I'm going to show you the mat. I haven't looked at the mat, so we're going to see the mat together. Mama, you want to see the nasty mat? All right, we're going to flip it up. This is the new, this is the reveal. This is the white. It was all white. Is it black? Not black, black. I'm shocked. Ah. Where do you want the vacuum clean? Back in the sunroom. Does it need to be plugged up? Ew. It ain't black, but it ain't. it's nasty. But that's amazing, ain't it? I don't think it's showing off as nasty as it really, there you go. You can sort of see the white and then the, ugh. Uh. So my floors weren't that bad. Well, this is the second time. Y'all should have seen it the first time. <laughs> it is dark. I am gonna take the little scent thingy out. You can, there. It is dark. I, it must have been because it was so stretched out. Did Cody finish his cake? You can really see it here, can't you? Yes. It's different once you close it up and it ain't stretched out no more. Ain't it, Mila? Ain't it, Mimi? Yeah. I think that's cool. Oh, that's very good. But I'm going to attempt. I was telling Mama, I think I might be able to do. Because this kind of melts. What melts? The little scent discs. That yeah, I think it's supposed to. It's melting. So I feel like I could probably use felt, cut it into discs. And I would need white because I don't, obviously don't want it to, any dye to come off on the, on the mat. But I think I might be able to use felt. What you think, Mama? Mm. What's something that's hot that that can, you, or that can withstand heat that ain't going to melt? I don't think felt. Felt won't melt, but how, how often can you use it? I mean, felt is cheap. I can make a couple different discs. Yeah. I'm trying to think of something. Hi, Millie. Good, Millie. Good, Millie. Good. So look at me, my little scuba diving outfit. She reminds me of a cat burglar. Are you the cat baby? Hey, you're the cat burglar. Mm. Now, one thing that smells wonderful in here. I'll tell you why. What did you do? Why did you find it was wrong? <laughs> Well, no, I just took all the trash out. I don't know if it was trash, if it was, I don't know. It could have been a tr combination of okay, trash. Diaper bag. Go, Millie. That cardboard, because you know cardboard has No, it is not the too. cardboard. I don't know. You know how much cardboard's in this house all the time because of the packages? Yeah. What I did was I used the same scent. There's purification oil in all of my diffusers. Oh, come on. It's booby time, isn't it? There's purification oil. Let's move the camera. <gasps> Let's move from the, so I don't see the ceiling fan. Um, there's purification oil in all the diffusers. I, I think I said I'm diffusing purification thieves and lemon. Four purification, four thieves, two lemon. So that's in all the diffusers throughout the house. Then I put purification on the vacuum filter. Then I put purification on the steam mop mop. So that scent is going all throughout the house. So you're smelling it everywhere. And it just smells really good in here now. So, once I get my carpet cleaner, I'll be able to also clean off the couches and stuff because it has an upholstery brush, and I'll be using that same stuff in there too. Hey, have you cleaned the floor? Yes. Good, I can smell it. Can you? Yeah. See? Well, that's what I was just talking about, what, I, what you could smell in the house. See, Daddy can smell the clean floors. How's the floors look? You should fill them with your bare feet. They just feel... Well, I can fill them with the socks. They feel clean. They don't feel like there's some kind of residue. As much as I love some other stuff that I've mopped the floor with, like the Murphy's oil stuff. What's on your hands? That dye mist from the yard. 
Um, sometimes I feel like it leaves a film on our floors and I'm not a huge fan of that. Maybe I weren't doing the right mixture ratio. I don't know, but I'm a huge fan. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a huge Why? fan of the thing. steam mop because it's just water something. that you put in there and it gets so hot it's able to sanitize and disinfect your floors. So you don't have to buy extra stuff, y'all. Um, a bunch of mops and changing them out. Um, over time, yeah, you're probably going to need to buy some extra, um, mop cover things which are cheap on amazon so i'll link some of those too um which i'm going to get me some extra ones so when I, when I have both of them in the washing machine like i do now i'll always have like a backup plan just in case i decide like oh wait i want to do another spot but um my review is that i i love it mama Which got one really? all of my aunts got one so um, you got the shark I mean a steam mop in yep, general. She's excited. Yeah, she got she went and grabbed what she could find at Walmart and it was cheaper. I'll link that one down oh, below that she got too in case she... you don't want the eighty dollar one or ninety dollar one. But there's a reason I picked the one that I got. Just saying that. So I'll link two different options down below for y'all. Why? Why? Why did she choose that one? What was the reason, girl? So many reasons. Were you the yes. main reason, girl? Well, obviously, I want my floors clean because she is, y'all, she is all over the place. So, that's the cleaning that I wanted to share with y'all today. I am going to do a little bit more, but I probably won't vlog that. But I know y'all wanted some cleaning motivation along with our regular vlog. So, we're going to do some other things today and we'll just Tell take y'all along. The attic. Yeah, so we cleaned I got out everything up in the building. All, we took all the Christmas trees <clears> and <throat> everything outside in that storage building. So, now the attic is like Shut almost. I'm sure you can go the right Almost empty in my building's full. Almost full. Now, did you take did a you picture? Did you change her diaper when you got her up? No, she didn't smell. She, <laughs> she could have, she had to just done it. <laughs> she just done it. Didn't you, girl? Mama loves changing her diaper, so I let her change it. Is that why you were getting upset? Oh, 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 bless she, you. Give me another one. She's not always, I'm always changing all the diapers. Mm -hmm. Cody does change diapers when he's here. But if somebody's going to offer Your to birthday. change a diaper, y'all take up on that offer. Give yourself a break. <laughs> Give me a little boy. Take a break. Can you fix me some water? Oh, what? Can you fix me some water? What else? You got anything else you want to say to Everything the... Everything would not fit on that side. So See? I had to put some stuff on this side. So Look how much better the house is looking already. Already. There's been so much stuff just like... Sitting we, out and about. Because we didn't really have nowhere to put it. So <sighs> if y'all notice, there's no more bar stools over there. That's because the ones we had were not a good fit, and I'm kind of, y'all know we're house hunting, so a part of me almost doesn't want to even buy any until we get a new house, because then if I buy some now, they might not work with the new house. And plus, it's less stuff we're going to have to take to the new house. So that's one thing that I've been doing is just getting rid of stuff that I don't have, like, a really deep connection with, so I'm just getting rid of it. Um, and that's less stuff, you know what I mean? So, might look a little empty in some spots but it'll be okay i do know that if i did get new bar stools for that they would be rectangular and they would be able to go underneath and not be in the walkway because if y'all remember they were circular and they were just they caused a traffic issue walking through here traffic issue also that stroller's not always back there it's normally no, in the vehicle it's in the truck but it's there for now because oh obviously we ain't the going the vehicle is going to be a tight fit why? What did you do? The trailer 79 inches and the truck from what I can tell was probably oh, that. At least I was like, 70 So there's something going on with mama's vehicle. Two to 74 and inches. She doesn't need to drive it Home. or anybody doesn't need to drive it to a, even a short distance. So definitely not a long distance. So Cody has a dump trailer. This is what he's talking about. And y'all know he's got a new truck. So we're thinking about hauling it ourselves inside of the dump trailer if i would have had my flatbed trailer for my tractor like i wanted i would have been perfect this not have not a flatbed no he's got a dump trailer that red trailer he's got but that's the one that rides the roof if he's even got it somebody might have it so or yeah we're trying to figure out how we're going to get mama's vehicle to the dealership i think it'll fit but i'm gonna need you at the front guiding you to make sure because it's gonna be close it's gonna be tight and he's gonna have to get in and out of the back hatch. The hatch, because it's not gonna be able to open that door. Which that was my idea. Or crawl out the window. I mean, I could climb out the window. It might be. 
easier for you to go ahead. It would. Then I wouldn't be able to put the window up. Ah. Uh, I got to do some weeding in the garden. It's already late. I should have had it done. And I have got all the floors done already, so. But I got, I got all the Christmas stuff put up. I got the tent and that blow up bed up top. Praise the Lord. So my truck can go back in the garage now? No, we still got some stuff to move. And Mama and Cody ate, so now I'm going to eat. And I'm also going to take you along with me as I shop online for a wreath. I probably will show what I find on Instagram though, because that's kind of where I'm talking to you at right now, so I'll be able to give links. But in case you didn't catch this on Instagram, um, when I do find something, I'll share the links down below and show you what I find. But I think I'm going to have some leftover pizza. We got to Little Caesars last night, and if you didn't know, Little Caesars is my jam, pizza-wise. As cheap as it is, I think it's like so good. It's way better than Pizza Hut ever dared. To be. I'm really debating on going to Walmart. So, if you follow me on Instagram, then you know that I take a picture of Mila every month in a solid color onesie. I place an order for three solid colored onesies maybe a week or two ago. And they've been in Raleigh for how many days? Since the 26th and to, of April and today's May 1st. And if it's just in case you don't understand geographically how far away Raleigh is from me, it might be two hours, and that was and it's been two hours away from me ever since the 26th 27, 28, 29, 30, five days. So I should have been gotten it. So now I'm like, as soon as so you go to watch the as soon as I leave and go to Walmart to see if they have those solid cooler ones, is that everybody's been showing on Facebook and these little groups and stuff that I'm in watch it show up because i haven't gone anywhere and of course if i went to walmart i wouldn't just be getting those onesies i don't know some of y'all might be like that's not essential it is <laughs> i realize i never showed y'all the rates as i was shopping i was shopping so hard but i found 14 um some of them are probably sold out by the time you guys see this the ones i just bought i must have bought the last one because now when i went to look it says no not available to be shipped um so maybe it'll be by the time this, I don't know, it's from Target. Um, so yeah, I grabbed the last one. Millie is awake. She normally takes this entire nap, but for some reason she's awake. So I guess we'll have to go get her since I don't think she's going back down. Might go outside and chill out because Alexa, what's the temperature outside? 67. Are you right now? It's 71 degrees Fahrenheit. Tonight, expect a low of 47 degrees. Would you like to know the weather for this weekend? No, thank you. Oh, say hello, everybody. Oh. Mm. See, look at all my hair. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Check out her little outfit. I decided to put one of these little... This is one of her fancy. We're going to the aquarium outfits. But seeing as how we can't, I guess I can just go and put the aquarium on the TV maybe and let you look at it. This video quality is probably going to be all over the place. I'm on my phone because I don't bring my camera. I'm leaving out of the house because I don't want to make it unsanitary and it's hard for me to figure out where to look <laughs> on my phone uh, but I will put my phone in a baggie and I got all my cleaners got some thieves which I'm running low on thieves <laughs> but we're gonna go to Walmart and I've avoided Walmart like the plague Cody's got something I think Mila scratched me Pretty sure she scratched me. That's <laughs> how you know you ain't been in the house. <laughs> so we got back from Walmart and we stopped and got some bohangles. Millie got some really cute stuff, but they didn't have what I went there for. So there's that. But 
We got chicken. We got biscuits. Mashed taters. Macaroni and chava. She's had a whole week. She's had a whole week. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. She actually had a very good week. She did. We're one of the happiest weeks. Oh, yeah. She did. You know, good month she had a bad week. Okay. Mega best friend. <laughs> Whatever makes you feel better, mm -hmm. I'll say it. So you tell me I need to stay home more often? I definitely know. I'm just saying, I think she's just at her age. She's outgrowing that. Yeah. She's, she can do more for herself now, so it's not as frustrating for her. Mm -hmm. She'd much rather be on the floor. Oh, she's just something like you're holding up. <laughs> yeah. She just wants to just be and do. And roll. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm being drunk, Dad. I started that earlier. You talk about my nose, man. Now you I know. have it on camera. There you go. Yes, no, you didn't hear me. You wait. Oh, you got two hours. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> well, I've accentuated my drink. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I didn't do all that because I didn't have that much drink. But if she would have. <laughs> no. I don't. <laughs> I told Cody today, I said, Mama just does everything loud. She walks loud. She eats loud. Drinks loud. Talks loud. Laughs loud. Walk sings loud. loud. Yeah, you, you do everything loud. I don't think you realize it. What you do. Even mm -hmm. your quiet voice, and you change diapers loud. Everything you do is loud. I literally knew that you had got her this morning. Not without, without even having to check the monitor, I knew you had got her. And I'm in a room next to a sleep little sound machine. And I was there and I was like, now I'm asking her what time she got her up and see what she said. I waited. It was seven something. What weren't? What weren't? Because I was trying to see the I'm sitting there and I'm like, I can hear her. Say good morning. So I forgot to end the vlog last night. Um, I went and yeah, I went and washed my hair and try. I'm, I'm trying out some new stuff. I'm waiting for it to completely dry. Um, and I'm gonna go in and sort of like scrunch it. So because I did put a little bit of gel in it, which I normally don't do. I'm trying out new things. Um, and I like scrunch out the crunch is what it's called. So that's what that is what I will do once it's once it's dry. So we just wanted to tell y'all goodbye, Mama. Somebody's coming to tow her truck to the dealership in a little bit, and I'm gonna make breakfast. And I think Cody's out on the tractor. <laughs> And Millie is all over the place. Aren't you, Millie? See, I'm all over the place. But we hope you have a beautiful and blessed day. And thank you for hanging out with us yesterday. Say bye.